Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's Facebook Live. So today we're getting a fabulous demonstration from Chef Meg Rains, who is here with me today, about how you can master the art of pairing cheese, wine, and apples. And we're also going to be learning more about rocket apples and all of their incredible features. So make sure you're commenting, saying hi. Um, and as usual, we're giving away some prizes. So you definitely want to make sure you're commenting for that. So I'm Eleanor, I'm the social media manager at Mom's Meat. And like I said earlier, today we're joined by Chef Meg Rains. She's a food photographer, recipe developer extraordinaire who has an extensive background in the food industry and she uses her culinary skills to create recipes for her clients. She's really carved herself this nice little niche in the fresh food and fruit produce industry, which is really cool. So thank you, Meg, for joining us today. Thank you, I'm thrilled to be here. Thanks so much for inviting me. Yeah, of course. So for anyone who's new on the stream today, we just want to talk a little bit about Mom's Meat before we get into it. So Mom's Meat is a really awesome community of moms, dads, caretakers who are interested in finding better for you brands and products to make sure that their families are living the healthiest lifestyle they can. So you can visit momsmeat.com and join for free. You can become a mom ambassador and sample products for free. It's a really, really awesome community. I, I love it. And we'd love to have more people join us. So today is brought to you by Rocket Apples. Um, so they're the first apples to be grown naturally small and bursting with flavor. They're a small red blush apple that offers a unique mix of crispness and sweetness in a perfect little package. Um, I know one of the things that our moms have loved so far about it is that they're perfect for kids because they're not too big, which is great. And as always, we're gonna be giving away some prizes. So Rocket Apples is giving five lucky winners a prize pack. So we want to hear from you guys. What are your favorite apple recipes to make during the holiday season? I know personally going into Thanksgiving, I love in butternut and apple uh, tea on it's called. It's like a layered casserole. Oh, it's wow. my favorite. What about you, Meg? What's your favorite recipe? Well, gosh, for 20 some years, I've been making this amazing cake that's apples, cranberries, and walnuts. And it's so dense. It's wonderful absolutely love it and when i couldn't eat gluten anymore i made a gluten-free version of it so it's my favorite and it's better than fruitcake i would say that sounds amazing and of course adding the cranberries in there is perfect it's so perfectly seasonal <laughs> so for you guys' chance to win today you want to make sure you're commenting liking and sharing the video we'll announce our winners on monday all right so I know we're all here and excited for the demo. I just wanted to give a little brief overview about Rocket Apples before we get into that, because that's gonna be like the, the main part of what we're doing today on this Facebook Live. So Rocket Apples, as I said earlier, are these wonderful, small, little red blush apples. Um, they're only 60 calories a piece, which is awesome, and they're super high in fiber, and because they're fruit, they're low in that fat, sodium, cholesterol that you get from a lot of processed foods. Plus, the size makes it super easy to just toss in your purse, toss, toss in a lunchbox, bring it with you wherever you want to go. So as someone who loves to snack, um, these are perfect. And I know apples are great with peanut butter, um, caramel. What other tasty stuff have you made with these, Meg? Um, oh, gosh. I mean, it's endless, but they're so tiny that I love to cut them in just quarters because I'm an apple slicer, and mm -hmm. I don't like to bite into an apple, and, they, and a lot of times only eat half of an apple but um the nutella of course uh, yes <laughs> i can't forget about nutella it's so good uh, chocolate and apples <laughs> so one of the cool things about this too um and i know that this is something that i always look for in brands is that um they come in the environmentally friendly packaging right 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 so the pack, and this is the holiday pack so it has some really cute little oh, that's yeah, and so the package itself is made from recycled plastic already, and it is recyclable. And um, at the end, I'll just throw around some ideas on how to reuse the package instead of recycle it, because we all have little bits of things around the house, so it's kind of nice to organize it. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I always know I need more organization. As as much as I try, I've got hair ties and pens and cool. pencils everywhere. <laughs> yeah, Legos. If you have kids and there's Legos in involved, <laughs> yeah, that would help. You're not stepping on those either. <laughs> so if you're interested in trying Rocket Apples or learning more, you can go to rocketapples.com. Um, so that's going to be where you can get all the great information about them. But now it's time to get into the thing we've all been waiting for. Uh, the pairing. So I will let you take it away, Meg. Okay. Hi there, moms, moms and dads. So um, 
let's get started. So wine tasting looks a little bit different now that we're in a global pandemic. And remember when we used to meet our friends at that bistro down the street, put those boots on, those fabulous boots and that lipstick? Well, we're not doing that anymore for a little bit. So I just want to encourage everybody to just have fun with this because I know we're probably in our day jammas if we even change out of our night jammas, and we might be drinking wine in a sippy cup. So don't take it too seriously, and let's have some fun. So before we start, I want to talk a little bit about food science and the way we pair wine and food, and or really anything. And so there's, there's a couple tastes that we look at when we're talking about pairing. So there's salt, and this is in the food. So there's salt, acid, sweet, bitter, fat, and spice. So those are all the six flavors and flavor profiles that we consider when we're pairing. The other thing we want to consider is the intensity of the dish. So if you have something really rich or really spicy, you want to match the intensity with the wine as well. And um, the other thing after that, so you want to think about the intensity and you want to think about whether you would like to enhance the flavor of the dish or contrast with the flavor of the dish. And so he, I'm going to give an example of like a really rich, creamy mac and cheese, right? So you have lovely mac and cheese. So if you want to pair wine with that, if you want to enhance the flavors, then you would maybe think about a uh, really oaky, buttery Chardonnay, because that's something that kind of pulls out the creaminess, creamy and creamy, and have this really intense fat with a creamy feeling of the, um, sorry, somebody must came to the door, a dog's barking, uh, with the dish. And if you want to contrast a creamy mac and cheese, you might do something like a really crisp Sauvignon Blanc, because that kind of cuts the fat and sort of cleanses your palate in between in between bites. So you have kind of those two options when you're looking at food uh, for enhancing or contrasting. Okay, so first let's talk about the flavor profile. Everything has a flavor profile, especially apples. All apples are different. If you take like a Granny Smith next to, you know, a sugar bee, they're quite different. So we have our little rocket apples, which are darling. And I'm gonna cut one open here. So we have uh, a texture that's super crisp if you've had one before. And so we have sort of yellowish interior. And if you also notice on a side note, there's a really small core in it. So it's really great for cooking because you can slice them sideways and you don't really need to cut the core out as much, just take the seed. And, so, and this is why kids love them. I mean, if you're a mom, how many half-eaten apples have you found in the seats of the cushions, right? So this is perfect. They can just take a bite and throw out a tiny little piece at the end and it's all good. So um, so texture, we have firm, yellow, juicy, crunchy. So we have those going on. And in terms of our flavor profiles, we have the sweet, a little bit of acid. And so that's what we're looking at for our apple here. A little lower acid, but definitely sweet and crunchy. And so the cheese that we paired with that would be anything mild. So we have these, these uh, small, mild cheeses. You can get them larger or small. They come in the wax. It's also the same as, I think it's called Edam cheese. Mm -hmm. and it's also the same as maybe a mild string cheese. And this is where you can get the kids involved because I'm sure there's some string cheese around. And maybe some, not the wine though. Maybe, <laughs> maybe some sparkling apple juice or something. But um, we've paired really mild cheese and the apple. So together you have the sweet and the crunchy along with the mild and the creamy. So that mm -hmm. kind of goes really nicely together. And then what we did, and I have this really nice little white here. And what we did is we are pairing that with a Sauvignon Blanc. So this would be more like a contrasting uh, flavor profile. Okay. So we have the smooth and the creamy of the cheese and the crisp and the um, sweet of the apple. And then you have the Sauvignon Blanc that has like a zesty, clean, clean taste. So it's going to work with the fat and the cheese to kind of cleanse your palate. And it uh, balances the... Uh, oh, oh, no, it looks like we lost, we lost Meg there. 
Well, I hope she's able to come back on. Well, I know she is super excited to talk to you guys more about the wine tasting aspect and the virtual casual side of things. Um, I know I'm sitting over here and my stomach is growling just from listening to her talk through that stuff. Oh, there she is. She's back. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I mean, I just turned off. So here I am. So where did I leave off? Cheese. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I will try to watch that. All I did was click on the camera thing to come back. So if that happens again, I'll be back momentarily. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, thanks for carrying that for me. Yeah, of course. Oh my gosh. Listen, yeah. we're, we're all at home working, doing our, our best to, to make everything work virtually. So at least we did my hair today. So we're yeah. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> all right. So um, anyway, oh, okay. So what I was going back to is thinking about the intensity. So you don't want a super dry wine with something really sweet because you're you're kind of balancing that. So I would pick a little bit of a sweeter um a little bit of a sweeter wine and i don't mean a really sweet wine but you know there's a, there's a little bit of a semi dry and a dry mm -hmm. so you want to make sure you're not overpowering the sweet with a really dry wine and so i would pick a little bit of a sweeter sauvignon blanc especially with creamy cheese because that uh, doesn't have a lot of salt and bitterness in it mm -hmm. Okay, and so I'm going to move on to a couple more examples just to kind of give you an idea of how, how we're moving on. And so I don't know if the camera is on a timer, but again, I'll just push that little button and come back. So one thing I really love is Manchego cheese, and I don't know if anybody's familiar with that. It's similar to a Parmesan, but it's from Spain, and it's a sheep's milk cheese, and it's aged, and it's just absolutely delicious. And it has um, a lot of bold character to it. It's salty, and it's um, tart, and so a lot of times people put something together. So it's 11 o'clock here, so it's a good time to get started, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so a lot of times we pair these really deep salty cheeses with um with apples as well because it really does the sweet the crisp the juicy really works nicely with the salty and the crisp so again we're contrasting flavors there and that works well and then you can finish it off with kind of a zesty uh what am I thinking? Like a zesty red wine. Cabernet might be a little bit too dry, but maybe like a Zinfandel or Cab Franc or something like that. So those are really nice. And you see that a lot of times when you're at a winery and they're giving you a nice plate of food mm -hmm. and fruit on it. Mm -hmm. That's a nice little, nice little bit there. So again, let's go back to maybe pairing some apples with white wine and so we're going back to our chardonnay example mm -hmm. and we have a nice creamy cheese again you can put the chardonnay with like a like a goat cheese and mm -hmm. some apples and the apples would work really well to cut through that the apple acting as a pa the palate cleanser versus the wine so you have creamy and creamy and then you cut that with a little bit of the acid in the apple again rockets would be perfect with that and let's not forget the sparkling wine. I, everybody, everybody has to love a little bit of sparkle, right? Uh, so I love sparkling wine, and it's any kind of Prosecco is the perfect wine for pairing with apples because it has a little bit of sweetness. It's not quite as dry as the Champagne, and um, it has the acidity in it that really cuts through any kind of of creaminess in the cheese or any saltiness, it, it also works as a palate cleanser. Mm -hmm. So it works really well with the sweet apple. So what goes really nicely with something like that, again, is salty cheese. So you have a real like flavor bomb going on. So you have a little bit of the sweet and juicy apple and then like a tart cheese. And then you wash it all down with a nice swig of bubbly. And that's going to be perfect for happy hour in your sippy cup. Who yeah. cares? Right? <laughs> Who cares? Um, so before, uh, so let me talk a little bit about non-alcoholic beverages. If you are thinking about maybe doing something with the kids or somebody who doesn't drink. If you have like a sparkling um, water of some sort, it's really nice to add some fresh berry flavors. And a lot of apple 
uh, apples have sort of some notes of honey and berry in them. And so it'd be really nice to add a little bit of blueberries or smashed frozen blueberries, or strawberries, oh. some of the floral berry notes in the apples. And that works really nicely as well. Uh, again, kids always love the sparkling apple juice. So mm -hmm. a little bit of that, right? So yeah. I'm going to see, has there been, is there any questions at all before I move on? to just the uh, apples in the recycling. I've been looking through. I haven't seen too many questions, although I know everyone is saying, oh, they have to come back and watch this. Gonna, I need to take notes. I know that. I think I might go back and like write down some of these tips. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I should do? I'll, I'll just uh, reiterate the, the taste that we're working with in case mm -hmm. anybody wants to write them down. So when you're talking about pairing, we're talking about salt, acid, sweet, bitter, fat and mm -hmm. spice, right? So thinking about like a really spicy dish, right? The intensity, like a curry, you want something maybe even like a Prosecco or not Prosecco, like maybe a champagne that's really gonna scrub all that uh, spiciness away. But the two things we wanna think about is do we wanna enhance it, the flavors or contrast the flavors. The mm -hmm. other is do we wanna match, you want to match the intensity of the food and the wine. So again, like having uh, an apple, like the really tart apple, like Granny Smith or a really sweet apple, like the Rocket, you wanna think about the intensity of, do you want a dry wine, do you want a sweet wine? And where are we in terms of the intensity of the wine? Okay, so um, I'm gonna move on to just talking a little bit about recycling them. And um, I, first of all, I, I wanna show this really darling packaging again, because so cute. This is cute. I mean, I have two little boys that live next door to me and their mom loves these. So I just think, you don't know, just put a bow on top of that, it's a perfect gift. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. For moms and also these make the best little uh, dipped if you want to dip these in something, what a great idea for the kids, like caramel or, or chocolate or swirl or something. Kids love doing that. Thing. So if you're giving a mom this whole package, I mean, not only can you have fun things for the kids to eat, but there's a project right there, you know, for a craft. And also you can give them as little gifts. I mean, I think they're just great. Little um, caramel dipped apple is tiny. And also, who can eat a whole caramel apple besides most kids? But I can <laughs> Yeah, and so being a photographer, everybody has little bits around the house I talked about before. So I use my, this is my the normal rocket. I use it to just put all of my remotes and various little things in. And the best thing about it is it comes with a lid so you can stack them. This is, oh, that's nice. I just love them. I also have one of my bathroom full of nail polish. <laughs> and uh, hair doodads. If you have kids, if you have a little girl, who has hair doodads all over the house? And there's <laughs> Legos, and it goes on and on. I mean, also little paint art supplies. It's a great thing for the kids for cleaning up because they can just dump it in. So give your kids a bucket when they're done eating. Tell them to go clean up. Yeah, it's yeah. great way to do it. <laughs> Anybody else have any ideas? I say I know. Um, I think. For me, I have dogs and just oh. the amount of like treats that people give me and like odds and ends of weird things. I'm always looking for like more storage space. I feel like so this would be great just to like put some like my one friend gets bandanas, seasonal bandanas. So just put oh. my seasonal bandanas in there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. there's a bunch of really great ways to use that. That's awesome. Dog toys. Yes. <laughs> Dog toys. Yeah. We've got plenty all around. Uh, and that's it for me. If you have any other suggestions or ideas for recycling. Yeah, so I'm seeing some questions come in about where to find Rocket Apple. So I do want to make sure I touch on that before I forget. Um, so the list that I have is they're available to purchase at Walmart, Sprouts Farmer's Market, Safeway, Albertsons, Amazon, Brookshire's, and Hannaford Grocery Stores. Hanford, yeah. So you can find a store near you at fruitlocator.com. That makes it super easy. So you can take it from me, but I would highly suggest going to the, the link that we're sharing right there, fruitlocator.com, to find the rocket apples near you. Yeah, don't forget they make really great gifts. I mean, if you're talking about your hairdresser and or the mail delivery guy, 
everybody you want to give a little something to who wouldn't love just a bucket of apples and something healthy and nutritious and all that kind of stuff so yeah and it's perfect and for people who want to have their own um pairing their wine cheese and apple pairing go out and get yourself some apples pick up some uh, wine and some cheese while you're out there. I cannot wait to host my friends now because I'm going to be like, okay, here's like the list of all the different things you need to go get. And we're going to sit here and go through the tasting together. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I know I learned a lot. Um, I think that all of those, the information about like the spice and then the contrast or the complimenting, that's so fascinating to me. It's so fun to know about too. I feel like next time I go out to eat, I'm going to be like, well, they paired this because it was a contrast oh. flavor. <laughs> Hopefully you'll, you'll sound like you know what you're talking about when you were like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> But for all of our moms who are watching, please let us know what you found most interesting today. Keep commenting, sharing. Um, if you have any questions, I know Rocket Apples is in the comments responding to any of those as well. So we'll pick winners on Monday. And to enter, you just comment, like, and share. Um, and if you want to learn more about Rocket Apples, go to rocketapples.com. Um, and that is also where you'll be able to kind of go through and find the store locator, the fruitlocator.com. So all of that will be right there for you guys. So again, thank you so much, Meg. This was so amazing. Super fun. Thanks for giving me a chance like put makeup on and do my hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <of course. laughs> All right. Well, thanks Thank everybody. You. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>